All right, it's time for a new project. Arr. I got my hands on a brand new, to me, uh, Windows XP computer. Uh, I got this from a local nonprofit. They were throwing out computers. And I was like, hey, yeah, I'll take it. So yeah, let's see what we've got here. So it's got a Core 2 Duo. Um, that's about it, floppy drive, that's how you know it's old. You know, power reset, uh, yeah. DVD drive. And let's take a look at the back. We got a 300 watt power supply, a motherboard, and a whole lot of nothing else. Um, now, unfortunately, this motherboard only has one VGA output, which means I can't hook it up to the monitor at my desk, which is why we're at the dining room table. Um, because I'm gonna have to set up my old my old monitor that has that has a VGA. So uh, yeah, before we do that, let's take a look at the inside. All right, so this should just pop off. <laughs> yeah. So that popped off. And then, I should be able to just slide this and take that off. So now we're inside. So here's the power supply. It says on the bottom that it's 300 watts. That will be important later. Uh, motherboard, um, there's our processor, two sticks of RAM. I don't know exactly how much. Um, so there's CD drive up here. Floppy drive um, with all these ugly PETA cables. Here's a hard drive. Now this is not the original hard drive. Um, I took out the original hard drive just in case they had important data from 20 years ago. I didn't want to erase anything. So I put this hard drive in that I've already erased. Um, and this is 500 gigabytes. So that should be plenty. And then this is a, another hard drive that I can't physically take out because there's a screw like right here and I can't I can't get a screwdriver in in and just right here so that's just gonna stay it's not hooked up um, we have one PCIe slot um, for a future upgrade uh, second PCIe slot uh, we'll see if I can do anything with that um, that's not until later these are regular PCI uh, not PCIe probably not doing anything with those but yeah, so that's the inside. Let's get this set up and let's install Windows XP. Only a little bit of a jank setup, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and power this on and see what happens. Of course, I can't see anything right now. Boy. The firmware has detected a CMOS battery failure occurred. Okay. Uh... We'll come back to that. All right, I have previously burned a Windows XP installation DVD. Pop that in. Oh, it's spinning up. It's doing something. Hey, Windows setup. Let's go. Setup is loading. Windows setup. Also, sorry, this screen doesn't look good on camera. I mean, it doesn't look good in person either, but all that banding stuff is not the screen. It is the camera. Uh, I broke my camera mount, that's fun. All right, welcome to setup. Setup now, press enter, okay. Um, F8, I agree, okay. Partition one unknown. Setup cannot install Windows XP on this partition. Delete the partition. Oh, I knew that. Whatever. All right, D, delete partition. Okay, unpartition space, create partition. Um, maximum, yeah. Um, now we can select this, I guess. Format, and use an NTFS quick. And there we go. Almost there. There's a line. There's, there's a line that they usually mean something. Oh, oh, what is this? Uh, 
What? Oh, so it is doing something. We got it. Look at that. It's it's been it's been doing this for two minutes now. Hey, it's blue. That's something. Hey, I got a mouse cursor. Does my mouse work? Oh, it does. Hey, here we go. Finally, it's installing. Okay, well, I'll see y'all in 39 minutes. Ooh, it's doing something. All right, English, US, cool. Next, all right, name, let's do circuit corner. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what it means by organization. Like if this is just my computer, like this isn't a work computer. So what do I put for organization, my house? Yeah, I don't know, all right, circuit corner. Um, let me type in my super secret uh, product key that I found on the archives on the internet. All right, computer name, Corey, yeah, sure, whatever. All right, administrator password. All right, date and time, it is not 2006. I wonder how far, <laughs> oh boy. Um, ooh, yep, here we go. 2025, all right, September, what's today, the 8th, 10, 58. All right, time zone, not that. Um, Eastern time, yeah, there we go. Next, okay, I will see y'all in 32 minutes. Whoa, that's epic. Thank you for purchasing Microsoft Windows XP. Great, purchase, yeah. Uh, next, all right, next. All right, my name. Didn't I already put in my name? Circuit, all right, next. Thank you, congratulations, you're ready to go. I hope so, finish. Hey, look at that, we're in. We made it. It's Windows XP. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, I do have a lot of other devices. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Right click, properties, details, hardware ID. And then on a different computer, I'm gonna search, can I set this here? Um, I'm gonna search for PCI. Slash. Okay, so I found <laughs> something on driveridentifier.com and I downloaded it and I put it on a flash drive and I put it in here and I was like, I don't know which one of these to run. I'll run this one. Let's see what happens. Next, I accept next. Okay. Um, install, <laughs> ooh, okay, so I guess we're installing that. Uh, install. I just realized I forgot to clip that to my shirt, so whatever. Ooh, it's doing something. Completed, finish, okay. Uh, can I open the internet? Well, that that's not gonna, here, what, what is it called? Oh, look at that. We're on the internet. Frog find. All right. Let's see. Legacy update. Uh, yes. Look at that. Legacyupdate.net. That's what I'm looking for. Also, okay. Actually, no. We're on frogfind.com slash that so it's like translating this page i don't think we need to translate the page yeah there we go okay let me install this let me save there's not a downloads folder well then i'll make a downloads folder yeah, all right and we can run that run okay i'm gonna enable that uh we have to do that 
And all of that. Okay, cool. Install. Checking for the latest updates. Okay. May take several minutes. Well, then I'm gonna quit recording and I will be back. Okay, download and install now. Complete. Yay. Is it in here? Ah, oh, yeah. Legacy update. I feel like... I feel like we just did that. Ah, install and review and install updates. Two hours and ten minutes? Well, I'm gonna go to bed if it's gonna take that long. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a lot. Um, optional. Ooh. Well, we have to select all, right? Like, we have to do all of these. Like, I need Windows Media Player 11. Like, I can't live without that. Okay. Um, sure. Let's do all of that. Okay, it looks like Legacy Update finished, and while it was doing its thing, I also searched the internet and found the last drivers. So, oh yeah, your computer might be at risk, I hope so. Um, I don't remember this search thing being here. Um, I've never once seen that in Windows XP. Um, I hope I can disable that. But anyway, I should have every update released for Windows XP, including Windows Media Player 11. Let's go. So anyway, now that I have the right graphics drivers, I should be able to go in here and go to settings. Yep, 1600 by 900, which is the native resolution of this monitor. Cool. So now, we can uh, make it look the way I like. So we have all of these super nostalgic backgrounds. Um, I always liked Autumn. Which, wow, <laughs> that's super low res, that's okay. And then Olive Green, yeah. Yeah, I like Olive Green. It goes well with um, with the autumn. Green and the orange go well together, although I did learn in recent years that I am very slightly colorblind, so green and yellow are, are fairly similar colors to me, so that would actually check out. Um, sometimes I also like silver. Silver looks good. All right, let's, let's go with that. All right, so I found this program called Hypercam that lets you record the screen, so now we can get much better footage of the screen so it's not just my phone camera pointed at the monitor um, anyway I got I got connected to my SMB share from my server which means I got iTunes I got all my music right here so let's see if I can copy this over and then use iTunes Okay, now what I want to do is take all the guts out of that computer and put it in here. So the story with this case is this is the case that my dad used when he built his computer 
20 some years ago and then that was you know the family computer for many many years and it ran Windows XP right up until support ended and then it ran Windows 8.1 um, and then eventually the computer died and then it got retired to the garage and it sat there for a long time. Then a couple years ago I decided to build a gaming PC so I took all the guts out of this one and then built my computer in the case so it was like a retro sleeper build and it was super cool. Well now I recently got a new graphics card and it's way too big to fit into there so I had to go to Best Buy and I bought a new case and transferred everything to the new case. So now I just have an empty retro case that's kind of nostalgic for me. Um, so let's build a retro PC inside of it. And that's it, for now at least. Um, let me know if you want to see me upgrade this in the future. Maybe I'll slap a graphics card in there, see how I run some games. Maybe I'll get that front panel USB-C port to work. I think that'd be kind of silly, so why not? Let's do it. So if you want to see that, let me know in the comments. Uh, get subscribed, and I'll see y'all next time.